CCTV literally means the four alphabets in CCTV, okay? Hi guys! In just a few minutes, you are going to learn how to highlight your face and where to highlight your face using the CCTV method. Yes, it's COVID period and I decided to doll up because no reason, okay, because I'm filming this video and that's why I want to look good. But anyway, this tip is going to be very useful for you guys who's going to go out after this COVID period. So if let's say you guys want to go and get some groceries and some essentials and still want to look good in that face mask of yours, go and watch my video here where you are going to learn how to do your eye makeup so that your eye looks so good under that mask, you know. I'm going to teach you guys how to highlight your face in the most simplest, most foolproof, most idiot-proof, beginner-friendly way. So this is suitable for most Asians, especially if you guys want to look dewy and you guys want to look like lit under the sun and even under the light, whatever it is. So the CCTV method simply just requires you to highlight your face in a CCTV form. How? Very, very simple. CCTV literally means the four alphabets in CCTV, okay? C, C, T, and V. So step one, you need, of course, a highlighter. So, so I'm using this one by Fenty, which is their matchsticks. And this is Starstruck. So this colour over here is a very, very rose goldy shade. So for this video, I'm using a stick highlighter just to show you guys in a very obvious way where to highlight. Please choose a texture and a colour that suits your skin tone. I'll probably talk about that in another video. So this CCTV method is supposed to help accentuate your features and not change your features, okay? So your C and your C basically means your C here and your C here. So it starts from your brow bone all the way to the centre of your cheek. From people to people, your C's are different. When I was starting up highlighting my face, I didn't know where the C exactly was. I didn't know where to stop, especially when it came to the cheek. And sometimes my highlight became like too low or like too high and it made my face look a little bit weird. So today I'm going to teach you the best way to find out where your C's are. Make sure that the light source is hitting your face so that you can see where the darker spots and where the lighter spots are. Okay, so on my face here, you can see that my brow bone starts about this area and the end of my highlight for my cheek should end about here. You can see, this is my C over here. So I'm going to take my highlighter here. I'm going to start highlighting. We found our C line and we're going to smudge it, blend it together. Okay, so this is after the C. You can see that this place has like popped a lot more. Your cheeks can have different C's for different sides. So please make sure to use the light source method to find your C. So my C for this side would be about here to about here. So the sun is hitting me diagonally now. So you can see the highlight on this side. And if I turn my face, you can see my highlight on this side. Next would be the T. So the T is basically here. But it's not a solid T, okay? Because you're gonna look so weird and your nose is gonna look so weird. Okay, but let's say it's like a broken T, okay? So you can see that my face is protruding about this area and here. Okay, you wanna highlight this area. And draw a triangle here. As you can see, there's a darker area here between your nose tip and this area of your nose. And then you go down to your nose bridge here. Okay, and your nose tip. So this will really accentuate your forehead, your eyebrows out. And at the same time, it will also accentuate your nose to make it look taller as well. OK, 
okay. So because my nose is a button nose, I like to lift this area as well. So I like to do a little bit on the top of each nostril to lift it a little bit. Oh, by the way, I have a full contour and highlight video right here for different Asian face types. So please go and check it out, it will help you a lot. That's your C, C, T done. And now which is the V. Us Asians, we love sharp chins, right? So this is where the V comes in. Start at the bottom of your chin. That is where the end of the V is. And you're gonna draw a triangle. So as you can tell, this is the V. And then you are going to blend it so that it fits into your face nicely. Make sure to highlight a little bit to the bottom of your chin so that if you lift your head, your chin still looks protruded. So at different angles, you still look beautiful. Okay? So for a secret, secret tip, where you want to highlight is this V here, your Cupid's bow. So, just a little bit will do. So this will make your upper lip look more pouty and you will look very good, okay? To summarize everything that we've learned today, we have the C and the C and the T and the V, okay? The V. So this is the most simplest method you can have for highlighting your face. Of course, please find the right spot with the light source, okay? So the light source will tell you exactly where your face is protruding and where it's not protruding so that it will give you a better look overall. I hope this tip has been helpful for you guys. This is one of my basic quick tips that I do every day when I'm rushing to work because I can't deal with like long makeup sessions in the morning. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below and I will appreciate you so much. So I hope that the CCTV method has been useful and you guys learned something new today. If you guys want to see my full uploads of all Asian beauty tips, you can find that playlist right here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!